New information this morning on a story Nick Barris broke here just last night. He is live now in the Five Alert Center with the latest on a shooting investigation involving the Rutherford County Sheriff. Nick, what a scary situation for this family. Yeah, it really was, and especially more serious. Shooting up any home, which is what happened here, is bad. Shooting up a law enforcement officer's home. That's attacking law enforcement in general, ups the ante, and things have settled down some this morning. But last night, there was a large police presence outside Sheriff Robert Arnold's home after someone indeed did fire several shots toward the home from the street. Nobody was hurt, and we're very thankful for that. Um, the sheriff and his family are pretty shaken up, as you can imagine. But we're just really thankful that everybody's safe. Again, now, I got word of this late last night. It happened around 8.30. The sheriff, his wife, and children were home when they heard several gunshots coming from the front yard area. I'm told this was a drive-by shooting. Several rounds were fired, then the suspects just took off before anyone could get a good look at them. Important to note, no one was injured, but it is believed that the sheriff's home was targeted. Not clear if the home itself was penetrated by any of those rounds, but several, several shots fired in that direction. I'm told at least seven shell cases as evidence have been recovered from the street in front of the sheriff's home. We now know the caliber of the weapon used. They do believe it to be a 22 caliber handgun was used to fire those rounds. Murfreesboro police this morning are handling the investigation. I'm going to be talking to the sheriff later this morning. We'll have more details on this case. Uh, an active investigation continues. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Yeah.